wondered what the population was in Lee County in 1900. Anybody got a guess? Anybody want to guess? Population 19? of Lee County or Fort Myers? No, Lee, Lee County. County. Lee County, 1900. 1900. About 5,000. I was going to say five or 6,000. Oh. It was, uh, and you got to understand that Henry County and Collier County was part of Lee County in 1900. That's correct. I've forgotten about that. Well, I'll they, tell you, it was 3,100. Uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Wow. And what was the other uh, year I gave you? Well, I had another uh, census in 1885. Okay. They took a census of the cities in southwest Florida. Okay. On the coast. And Lee County, uh, Fort Myers had 339 uh, mm. citizens. It was probably all related to the Hendries and Fire or something. Well, <laughs> and, and it was the second largest city on the West Coast. Tampa was first and Fort Myers was second. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. On the, the Fort on the Tallahassee? So what, was, what was considered the, uh, well, Tallahassee's not on the coast. West Coast. West Coast. Tallahassee. All the way Tallahassee's from inland. Naples yeah. all the way yeah. up to, what was that port up above Tampa? Cedar Apalachicola? It, it was a, there was a port up there. Oh, Cedar Tarpon Key. Springs. No, it was Cedar above Key. Tarpon Springs. Cedar Key? Huh? Cedar no. Key, Apalachicola? Cedar Key. Cedar that Key. Was, yeah. Cedar Key. And I think the railroad Walk went into Bay. Cedar Key. Right, yep. Right. I think, I think Plant put his railroad into Cedar Key. There was a time when everybody went to Tampa to buy clothes uh -huh. and dress up. Uh, only the wealthy. Uh, so when did when did Lee County incorporate? In 1887? I took my grandmother. 87. 87. 87. And they had a vote on the county seat in 88. And the young guy that was just here, Julian, found the paperwork from Key West when they were talking about uh, becoming a county and Lewis Hendry signed it along with 39 other citizens. So Julian... So we don't know who the 39 citizens were, but we could probably guess Ju them. Julian found it? Yeah. Did he give you a copy? He, he emailed it to me in a PDF, and I couldn't What's copy it. What's a copy it. of what? Um, something, from, something from Key West he found, but I couldn't copy it. I could not copy it because it was in PDF, but I asked him to try to help me get a copy of it. But Lewis Hendry... Uh, signed it from Fort Myers as uh, the attorney, he was an attorney, and 39 other people, which I don't have those names. Well, no. were they signed them for what? To become a city. To incorporate. Become, to become oh, a county. Oh, oh, oh. To become a to, county. To be a, a, a town? A uh, county. So, oh, to be a county. <clears throat> well, that Lee County oh, wow. was in 1887. Yeah. Well, 1885, Fort Myers was incorporated. What's that? Fort Myers well, Fort Myers as a city Myers, became right, incorporated. Yeah, but Lee County didn't become Lee County. I'm trying to remember when they incorporated. Uh, Lee Fort. County, 1887. No, but the, I mean, I know that one. I just, I didn't, I can't remember the city. What city of Fort Myers? What's Fort Myers? Is it 85? Fort Myers. Uh -huh. Is this town? well? I remember driving my grandmother to Tampa every time she needed a new hat for church or, or a party to go to. And we, we must not have had what she, I don't remember now why, but a lot of people went to Tampa for business. They didn't have any stores here. They, that's true, isn't it? Evans Park wasn't, yes. wasn't there, and Flossie Hills wasn't there at that time. That's right. Oh, Flossie Hill. Oh, my goodness. My granddad, my grandfather was her doctor, Miss Flossie. Mm -hmm. And when Miss Flossie he, did this, he went. <laughs> he said he knew better than not to because she would she would let them get by with not having They were They were first two. Lady stores in Fort Byers. They were, weren't they? Yeah. See, there Evans and Park was a Nancy high Bruce scale. is here, he said to tell you, but he's wanting to get his glasses. He'll be back. Do we have a jeweler's loop here? A jeweler's loop. We've got a magnifying glass. No, you're right about those girls. Yes, exactly, the ladies. The ladies that were here, the only few loop. that we had hey. who had business. Is that one of those right. things that hangs off your glasses? No, it's just a little round it's thing. A, yeah. You look at it like that. What are you like talking that? about? She, Magnifying glasses and jeweler's, jeweler's loop. loop. 
Are you okay? Yeah. We, were talking, you know, we were talking about going up, you know, going to uh, for, uh, Tampa and then to people down here who had stores. Well, I know okay. the sell things. Something like that. Flossie Hill, maybe oh. Flossie Hill. Yeah, we talked about her. We were reminiscing. Just a knee jerk opinion. Uh -huh. Are you okay, Mr. Pavish? Right. You know, okay. honestly, the, the hairline is different. His cowlick, his. Look on, on here. He's it's on really the left. He's tired. He's been tired. He said, "You're tired, aren't and on you?" Here, it's no, on the right. I'm not. Okay. I'm not tired. I just but said I get. His face is I get very... tired when I walk too far. Okay. All right. I mean, you're looking at the natural <laughs> part when of his hair. When we got to his house, here. he was in his chair like this. He's on, this guy's eyebrows <laughs> yeah. aren't as heavy. And I said, "Oh no!" I said, "Nancy, I hope he's okay." And he this was guy's fine. eyebrows are up. more down. Um, we used to do this oh, good the for corrections. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get you on the jeweler's loop because what you do is you lay it down. Like this. You know what? Uh -huh. I have oh, one at the courthouse. You I'll bring it. You want to sew it? I have not. one. <laughs> you have what? Yeah, because it uh, magnifies like a, a it and it's steady. With this, you can it's sort of like. Close. I guess I was thinking, have to uh -huh. see how his hair sort of swoops yeah, up. So. Oh, okay. Mr. Oh, his hair sure. swoops up. I like to say, his eyebrows are thicker, like you said. But then again, there's a shadow. Okay, Carl Ford Surrey's first. We finally got a good one. And you're talking about this gentleman here? Okay. Let me get you guys. We're going to do well okay. here, aren't we? Aren't we? I just wanted sort of a knee jerk opinion. Okay. Okay. You got a prediction? You got a well, prediction? Well, take it easy, Glenn. I will. How, we have how far should I go on? Good to see you, Glenn. Likewise. Uh, why don't I go with 60 oh, or so? I beg your pardon? I'll go with 60. Who is it? Young thing? What, what 60 years? You're, you you're remember Bruce Hart? The, the huh? Bruce Hart? What, they're going to go, uh, what, Who? 6 and 0? Bruce Hart? Yeah. From Hart's Dairy? Oh, yeah. No. I'll be darned. Hi, Bruce. Come on nope. in. I'll have to think that one out. All right. Here, have a seat. Well, we'll have have a seat. Remember, what was his, uh, oh, have have he was on the board of the Federal. Thank you. Tom. Was it Tom Hart? Tom. Was Tom Hart the on the board of First Federal? Yes, he was. Yeah. I used to have coffee with him all the time. Did you? Yeah. And uh, he got he got cancer. Yes, sir. Yeah. Died in 1998. Yeah, it was quite a while ago. But we had to have, I used to go up there almost every day. If I wasn't tied up, I'd go up there and have a cup of coffee with him. Him and the board. There was uh, Tom Howard and Harold Case and Ray Campbell, Paul Franklin, and Tommy Hart was on the board. And Lloyd Henry. And not everybody showed up every day, but that was the group that had coffee. It was a downtown coffee place. It, it to go. started well. The first <laughs> coffee shop I went. I came back here in 1949. And opened up my office, and the coffee club at that time was Bell Fry's Drugstore. Yeah. And the lunch coffee bar. was five cents. <laughs> and we uh, would flip and see the last persons in. We'd flip coins and we'd say like if there was five heads and. Four tails, the five heads got out, the four tails fit in. <laughs> and we kept it until you got down to somebody lost. And I don't know if anybody knows L.C. Cartwright. Oh, the Cartwrights? Yeah. Yeah. He was, he was there with us, and <laughs> Cindy tough. Davis, and Herman Gluckman. And, oh, Lord. I <laughs> and and uh, what was the guy that owned the... Uh, Cigar stand, uh, Odom. Oh, yeah. What was his name? Uh, Gene. Gene? Uh, Gene Odom? Art, either Gene or Art. No, it was his, Mitch. Ernest Mitch Ernest. was their half brother. Oh. He, was, he was a half brother to Archie Odom, the judge. And he'd be he there. Lloyd Cook was there. And Strayhorn was there. He's still, he's and, still and around. And what tickled me, guy. what I'm getting at is Hell Cartwright for two years never lost. And I can't remember who it was, but somebody said, the heads out. And Cartwright picked up his money and somebody said, Mr. Cartwright, I think you had a tail. He said, oh, okay. Man. And it went on. And then they, somebody caught him again the next day. 
And he finally stopped laughing. He said, I've been cheating for two years. <laughs> <laughs> he never funny. paid for one coffee for two years. So that, that's how it worked. The, one, the, the loser paid, paid the bill, right? Right. You kept losing, losing, losing until there was only one left. That was typical max. of this town. <laughs> they just go, went for it, didn't they? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I remember the stories with two uncles and a grandfather all involved with the downtown and all that was going on. I still, I still can laugh and enjoy it all because they were funny. They had fun, didn't they? Well, it was a, it was a jolly crowd. I mean, they, they <laughs> yeah. met for coffee. 